The most important step to total thinness is a solid foundation, the base of your life, what I call your philosophy. Philosophy is you, your reactions, interactions, your perceptions, your views on every existing matter that reality offers. Be original, creative, and thinking. A thinking individual for complete human being. Use basic common sense when undertaking any adventure. Keep a journal so you can have objectification of yourself. Use a scale and enjoy balancing the scale. Just reiterate everything we went through here. So there is my main master tape. Intensity for density. Now you know what it means. This is the core. This is the gut. This is the foundation, if you will. There's a lot of information, so don't let it overwhelm you. Simply sit back and enjoy it. Take time, and things will happen for you. Exercise your patience. The purpose of this tape is to make you think I'm not going to try to convince you of anything. I am simply going to relate my experiences and my education to you. Now you took a breather from section one, and now that you think that you're in the saddle of success, let me assure you, you are not. Because we must wrestle with our brains to destiny, to actively take control. That's harder than any physical training in the world, but it could be the most enjoyed. Uh, let me brag first, okay? I, I just gotta tell you, so I was so elated last year. I squatted 820 pounds for four reps at parallel. I did 915 for one parallel and one two inches above parallel. I had to, I had to tell you. I'm only a bodybuilder. Well, I was one. Now I'm a training enthusiast. One time, I'll tell you a little story here, I was at a bodybuilding contest, it was the 1982 Pro Miss Universe. I was in unbelievable shape, I integrated very well. I took a bold new step in my posing routine. I did virtually no physical practice of my routine. I simply mentally rehearsed it.
creatively molding. You must, you must be willing to make mistakes to get ahead. A positive sense of direction is a means of changing energy. You are driven, forces your reality for those chosen arenas of your self-expression. To succeed, you must be goal-oriented individuals with reason, purpose, and self-esteem, with a clear objective mind. Remember, the more you work at integrating your mind and body, the depth of your indiv individuality comes forth in leaps and bounds. Now for some philosophical uh, words for you to ponder. How many of you out there consider yourself perfectionist? If your answer is I am, you have not grasped the concept to this point. Check your premises and think about it again. Try this on for size. I'm a progressionist. I progress inch by inch and upward. Every inch you progress will give you more reason, will better your purpose, and your self-esteem or fuel will be even greater. First of all, I suggest never train more than three days a week in any program, even sometimes two times a week, depending on how hard you train. Your times of workout should be very brief. It depends on your intensity of your efforts and your conditioning. I recommend no more than 45 minutes, even as little as 20 minutes, 15 minutes, as I have done and been totally exhausted. I don't mean add to the routine, but change within the routine. Get away from the dogmatic structures. You have to do a certain amount of this and a certain amount of that. Stay within a certain, certain structure, but don't get to the point where it has to be exactly to the number and exactly to the set, like 10 sets and 10 reps. You can do two sets and six reps. You can do one set and eight reps. Just depends on how hard you contract your muscle against the weight. Training for me is like going to a psychiatrist. It brings me in closer to my focuses and my realities, whereas your average person will pay a psychiatrist to gain such identification. But training to me gives me my added strength and just basically brings me back to a simple way again to start over. What's any greater than being unable to carry a bag of groceries up a flight of stairs? To me, that's so abnormal. And you know, the average person is basically in that condition today. 